All right, guys, check this out. This is a video I didn't even think needed to be made, but there's very similar techniques out there that people are getting confused about. And the reality is they're watching a bunch of YouTube videos or quick videos, and they're not picking up the details of the differences. So I will tell you right now, there's so many techniques that look remarkably similar in regards to rigging that are fished completely different. So for example, uh, still today, when I talk about a nail weighted wacky rig, people go, Nick, that's a that's a Nico rig. And it's, it's not a Neko rig. Let me help you with the pronunciation of that as well. Um, it's still a nail weighted wacky. A nail weighted wacky has been around forever. The difference is a nail weighted wacky and a Neko rig look remarkably similar except where the hook goes and how you retrieve it is entirely different and the purpose for the two are entirely different as well. Uh, for today's demonstration, I'm just gonna show you with a size one BKK hook right here and I'm gonna throw it on the sticks number two. That's the hybrid spinning rod from stixfishing.com. That is my company. Now, I'm gonna show you with a Savage Gear DS crawler. Um, when Jose Chavez and I were developing this worm, I had Neko rigging in mind. So, you guys already know the wacky rig, okay? I'm gonna hook this up in a wacky configuration, and I'm gonna show you the difference here, okay? So I throw the wacky rig, all right, that's weightless. Let's go ahead and put the whole nail in there. Let's make what some people are calling a Neko rig, a Neko rig, but it's not, okay? I'm gonna go to the fat end of the worm. Nobody has that part confused, thank goodness. The fat end of the worm is always where you put your nail, okay? Don't worry about the weight, the size of the nail. So now I am still hooked in the middle like that, okay? So when it falls down, it's gonna catch speed but this is not a NECA rig configuration. I may have been part of the confusion a long time ago. I did a wire to fish video and I did this suspended nail weighted NECO configuration and it was a very technical thing that I was doing. And I think that may have led to some of the confusion, but then there's this mass confusion with people all referring to a nail weighted wacky rig as a NECO rig, which is absolutely wrong. So for example, this is a nail weighted wacky hooked in the middle the basis is I let it fall on free line, slack line, all the way to the bottom, and I'm strictly just twitching it, working it on slack on the bottom, twitching it down there on the bottom. That is not how you work a Neko rig whatsoever. So the benefit of working that on slack line is that hook's in a great position, fish comes up, sucks it up, and they eat it. If you're throwing to a key target, not a lot of bunch of snag, not a bunch of snags down there. The nail weighted wacky is great. For example, I've had to fish the nail weighted wacky a ton lately. Now, in regards to the Neko rig, I'll show you here. Don't mind the shaky hands. I'm gonna go to the flat side of the worm. You can rig it however you want it, okay? And I'm gonna stick it right in the side of the worm. And I'm gonna come out like so. You can use an O-ring tool, rubber bands, whatever you want. Now you could see that hook right there. Let me put it in front of my hand. Maybe you could see it a little bit better. Is in the side of the worm. So now when that worm's on the bottom, you have a semi-tight line. All you're doing is trying to maintain a tight line without reeling in. You don't want slack. So now as you drag that worm in this position here, the back of the hook shank right here is protecting. That is the weed guard. The Neko rig works remarkably well for dragging over wood, boulders and everything, as long as you're maintaining a tight line. You don't need to be doing a bunch of shaking of the rod like a wacky rig. And when you cast it out, let it fall a little bit and then close it and let it pendulum back down to your target. If it's deep water, you may wanna let it fall a little bit longer. I don't let a Neko rig typically fall on slack, then pick it up and start working it. Because typically when I'm throwing a Neko rig, I know there's usually more snags around. So I let it pendulum in on that tight line. And then once I feel it stop, I just try to maintain a straight line and drag it as slow as I can. You'll know if your weighting is correct because even if you drag the worm in the water next to the boat, 
it won't be going sideways like this it'll be at a true 90 degree angle if you got the right amount of weight and that hook perfectly upright so it'll drag in a vertical position not horizontal vertical like that even through the middle of the water column so that gives you the confidence to know when it's down there on the bottom and you're just slowly dragging it you're trying to maintain the tight line so our wacky rig i work the slack a lot and then i pick up the slack with the reel but the difference is the neko rig you'll see me drag and use the reel to maintain that tight line i'm on the reel very often with a neko rig but working it extremely slow to keep that vertical position in a tight line also with a wacky rig hook set's very different i'm working it on slack boom i feel them bump it i may give them the rod a little bit reel down and set the hook at that point whereas a neko rig you look at the hook in that position a lot of the times they come down they get it really weird all right so what happens is you let them start to move with it and keep that line tight and you reel set don't even pop it just reel tight to them and then once you feel them load up then just kind of lean on that fish and what it allows that to do it allows that hook to work correctly in the mouth then find a good point to stick them but a lot of the time when they come down on a neko rig like that they get it weird and if you just set the hook sometimes it'll pop it right out of their mouth so if you're missing a lot of neko rig fish that is the key difference but we have to stop referring to a nail weighted wacky rig as a neko rig it is entirely different yes they look remarkably similar but they are not the retrieval methods entirely different remember guys if you're watching youtube channels out there some of them that are getting paid from ad revenue i don't i have direct sponsors so i don't feel the pressure to make a video every single day because that's how they get paid for ad revenue so if you don't think they know more about the technique look or if you're interested about a technique you learn on a one or two minute video d divulge yourself into it dive you know do more research on it or look up who's like the most popular guys the japanese guys were really into neko rigging um the nail weighted wacky rigs been here forever so you're gonna hear guys say oh well we've been doing that forever and and no they haven't it's the retrieval method for the neko rig which is very very different yes the nail weighted wacky has been around forever using roofing nails and everything else but that is an entirely different technique the wacky rig's really good at isolated target sitting it there kind of working it on slack um you can work it down deeper with that nail weighted but the neko rig is really great for coming through grass over wood over boulders and it's a searching finesse technique that's not super slow but on the slower end and it catches a ton of fish so very different techniques, guys. I'm Nick, the Informative Fisherman. Make sure to follow me on all the popular social media channels. Thanks for watching.